Hello everyone. So this is the team Sparkle and here in this presentation they are going to demonstrate to you what actually they have done during this one year measure project and their measure project is about Dark Admirer, the Nightmare Begins, a digital game. Right. And we are from uh, Department of Information Technology, School of Computing Sciences, and they are our integrated MSCID six semester students. And the members are he is Abdul Jabbar, he is Ali, and he is and one member, Devasis Roy, he is absent because he is actually suffering from fever, right? So we wish you Devasis. We hope we will see you in the next presentation. And myself, Dr. Deepesh Kimura, and I am your guide. So I first would like to give this presentation and to go talk. Go talk, please explain. So first of all, this is our table of content. In this project, mainly we have done some 3D model design, level design, sound setting, and our character design. So as the project is covered, Dark Admiral the Nightmare Begins, which is a single player offline game on PC platform. It is a third person perspective view based game and the player which will progress through the manipulation of the environment, the level design of the game of, will highlight the 3D model and mapping a particular landscape. We demonstrate the action flow between input and display output. So for this project we have used for model design blender and for character level design and sound setting we have used unreal engine so why you have chosen blender so sir at first we have chosen blender for for mainly the model design blender is mostly used yes sir is there any alternative for that koi aur aisa hai jo blender ke upar hum use kar sakte ha sir hum log blender ke wajah se unreal mein bhi hum log dal sakte hain lekin sir hum log ne zyada prefer the blender mein isliye hum log ke liye thoda aasan hota hai and this is our first project so this is our 3d model you can see this is the 3d model they have this is our 3d model as we have designed our map this is our first 3d model as this we have designed this type of model in blender so this is a short glimpse of this so you can see here is a building tool we can create your four plane after that after creating a four plane we will go to in the edit mode we will select this Four plane, and you can see we will add floor. Suppose we have add one floor, and by adding we can create the floor count, three count, and we can also give your window, one window. So this is our view of our three D model that we have designed in Blender. Right. Okay. Then next part. So these are some buildings which we have designed in Blender. All the three D models. Ah, uh, sorry for interrupting, Gautam. Uh, just can you tell me from where you have uh, actually thought about, or from where you have got that you need to build this type of project? So, sir, as when I was in third semester, yeah. In third semester, one day we have taken our class. Yes. No, mid not third semester. This fourth semester, that is uh, cyber security class. So, in at that time, you have asked us that. We all are playing game. So yes. why can't we build one game? So as I have also seen that our senior student also made one short view. So after seeing that only I got inspired and slightly I have collected our team members by choosing each and every one. We have started this project. See, they have been inspired from that port chair itself. And today, when you see their demonstration, they have really developed a very good uh, game. Course. And that may be, I think, more than a professional one when they will complete the final stage. So let's come back to again the, the presentation. So building part you have shown. Yes, right? this is the building part. After that, after designing our three D model in Blender, we have export this three D model with a FBX file through FBX file. So after exporting the three D model through FBX file. file we have import all this blender file which we have export in blender we have import in the unreal engine okay so as we have build one short glimpse of training map so we will show one video as we have prepared one video for this this is the video they have prepared uh, one thing i have like to tell you this is the team sparkle okay you may find them in youtube also right so this is our short glimpse of our video good one 
we come back to the presentation. This is the DDL panels of Unreal Engine. So as I will show in the next coming part, this is how the materials, how we have added materials. As I it is given, these are the assets which I have applied to mesh to control the visual look of the scene at a high level. It is probably easiest to think of a material material as the way that is applied to a specific okay. object. This is the world outliner. Suppose we have added some building in our project. So each and everything will be added show in this world outliner. Every whatever we search, everything we can get in this world outliner. World outliner. World outliner. Right. Next is our basics. Basic is one there and next is our geometry. Next our landscape. As we have designed our one more map and that is our as we are student of Kaziranga University. The Kaziranga University or itself we have designed one map and that is see their imagination level they have designed so itself for our Kaziranga University so this is our you can see oh, the yeah. dreams of Kaziranga University those Dream who are familiar of, about our Kaziranga University infrastructure you can grab it so right. you can see this is our first KU Kaziranga University main gate so slightly after entering the gate you can see this is our park see the you can see the graphics quality of the foliages we have added. So this is the graphics and the shadow you can see. This is. And I think that is the city building, right? Yes, this is, this is the fountain. Okay. As we have now, for now, we have not added our water particles. Yeah, it is not needed. Sometimes actually we can see the fountain. <laughs> so you can see the physics of those trees. Movement. Movement. Right. The quality. This is our city building. This is administrative building and yeah, this uh, is our admin administrative building. As of now we have entering to this door only. Mm -hmm. So this is our design. And you can see this. This is our city main building. Okay. The door. RGB door. <laughs> As my teammate Abdul has been put this door. Who so have uh, taken this uh, main snaps of this? building infrastructure part. So we you all do it, right? Yes. So this is the building of this is our administrative building and the back side of our administrative building. Then this is our SOV building okay. mainly. As you can see this is our booker. This is our booker <laughs> not booker, sorry, the cafeteria. The cafeteria. And these are the building and mainly many things are there to add. As of now what we have done we have shown this. So you can see. You can see the quality of the grass, that how the physics are has been added. These are the okay. so next is so next part will be explained by my teammate Saiful Ali. The many as the sound sound pick के बारे में बोलेंगे ना तो इसमें क्या है पहले तो हम लोगों का player है जो character है तो जो जब work करेगा तो एक sound step जो step होता है उसका sound देना पड़ेगा तो उसके लिए हमने यहाँ पर किया है पहले काम क्या किया है हमने जो भी साउंड इफेक्ट है जैसे फूड स्टेप के लिए तो वहाँ पर दे दिया है और यहाँ पर हमने डिफरेंट मतलब फूड डिफरेंट सर्विस के लिए डिफरेंट फूड स्टेप किया है जैसे हमने एक रॉक के लिए किया है ग्रास के लिए किया है और वूड के लिए किया है तो पहले हम साउंड इसमें इम्पोर्ट कर ले रहे हैं फिर उसके बाद हमने तीन फिजिक्स मेटेरियल बनाया है उसके लिए जो साउंड है उसका फिजिक्स मेटेरियल उसके बाद हमने जो हम लोगों का प्रोजेक्ट सेटिंग्स में जैसे हम एक सर्विस होता है जितना भी सर्विस होता है उस सर्विस में एक कॉमन नेम देते हैं सर्विस के लिए जैसे हमने तो एक तीन सर्विस दिया है तीन वो सर्विस के लिए एक नेम दे दिया है उसके बाद जो सर्विस नेम में हमने वो जो फिजिक्स मेटेरियल बनाया है तीनों इसका यहाँ पर लिंक कर दिया है उसके बाद नेक्स्ट हम लोगों का क्या है जो प्लेयर का स्केलीटोन में हमने क्या किया है जब भी वो प्लेयर का फूड्स ग्राउंड पे टच करेगा तो वहाँ पर एक नोटिफायर लगा दिया है नोटिफायर इवेंट लगा दिया है जब भी ग्राउंड में टच करेगा तो दोनों उसकी यहाँ पर हमने दोनों लेग्स के लिए सेम किया है नोटिफायर एक यहाँ पर एक यहाँ पर उसके बाद ये हम रन के लिए किया है अलग से और वर्क के लिए अलग से किया है नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट आगे यहाँ पर जो कोडिंग है पहले हमने क्या किया जो नोटिफायर लग गया था वो इवेंट यहाँ पर कॉल किया है उसका बाद इसमें प्लेयर का पूरा एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन दिया है और यहाँ पर जो प्लेयर का जो सर्विस दिया है कौन सा सर्विस में है और यहाँ पर हमने अलग अलग सर्विस के लिए अलग अलग मतलब डिवाइड करके जैसे अगर वुड ग्रास में होगा तो यहाँ पर ग्रास का साउंड प्ले होगा अगर वुड में होगा तो वुड में साउंड प्ले करेगा और रॉक में होगा तो रॉक का साउंड प्ले करेगा ठीक है 
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट अगर जब प्लेयर हम लोगों का जंप करेगा उसके लिए तो सेम हम लोग की जंप के लिए भी वहाँ पर एक नोटिफिकेशन लगाया है तो जब भी नोटिफाइड इवेंट जब यहाँ पर कॉल किया है और जब वो कॉल होगा तो वो जंप का एक साउंड है वो भी साउंड प्ले करेगा तो नेक्स्ट है वाटर फाउंटेन हमने जो हम लोगों का मैप में लगाया है उसमें एक साउंड इफेक्ट दिया है तो उसके लिए भी जब भी प्लेयर उस फाउंटेन में फाउंटेन के पास जाएगा तभी वो साउंड प्ले होगा अभी इंक्लूड कर दिया इंक्लूडेड राइट जी तो वहाँ पर जब भी वो जाएगा प्लेयर जब भी सामने जाएगा तभी वो साउंड प्ले होगा फाउंटेन का साउंड नेक्स्ट आप सो सर फॉर एवरी एक्शन लाइक फॉर टू जम्प टू शूट और टू गो फॉरवर्ड बैकवर्ड वी टू सेट सेट लाइक इफ यू प्रेस डब्ल्यू शॉर्टकट इफ यू प्रेस डब्ल्यू यू कैन गो फॉरवर्ड इफ यू प्रेस स्पेस बैक वी कैन जम्प सो एवरी वी कैन अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर चॉइस वी कैन पुट इट हेयर we can change it also yes sir later right later yeah. yes sir this is key binding key binding yes sir so this is the uh, uh, codes of our character uh, this is for the mouse movement this is for the jump it's like sir this uh, if we uh, press the key then we will jump and if you release the key it will means uh, it will not jump okay. means we pressed we press the key the character will go Uh, the character will be in the air. Mm. After it, after it release, it will come down like that. Okay. So this is for the spin. Spin. Yeah. yeah. Like sir, if we press the key, uh, uh, we have set one uh, value for it. Means uh, for six hundred, it will go. Uh, it will it will run very quickly, very fast. It will run. So if we release it, it will go back to the normal lock speed, which we have set to two hundred. So like uh, if you press shift, now I'm running mm. at six hundred speed. I'm running too fast. Mm. The moment I uh, release the shift key, mm. I'll stop walking and start like walking like this. Okay. Like that. So that two hundred is actually generating what? The normal walking. It's normal walking speed. Okay. So the six hundred one is for the running speed. Running speed. That's yes, right. Okay. okay. So this is for the equipment switch. Equipment yeah. switch. Yes, sir. Okay. Then again, this is for the shooting. Uh, divided into <laughs> three parts. Because it's too big. Okay, so, no yeah. problem. So, blend space, sir. Blend space are basically uh, asset, special assets, uh, assets that uh, that blend blend between two values. This, uh, well, let me tell you first. Like, this is only blend space. Uh, this is only for the speed. Only for the speed. Uh, only for the speed. Uh, like to, if you're walking in a direction. You can walk here on the speed. Okay. No, no, no need to worry about direction. Because for the direction, we have two different speeds. Okay. Each for the direction and speed. One D is for only speed, and two D is for direction, direction and speed. Which, which speed? Okay. So like we can go like here. Mm -hmm. If I'm standing here, I can go there. Okay. Also I can go there. I can also come here. Direction. Direction. That is two D lines. Two D lines. Yes, sir. So we can do so. So this is uh, basically for the hard. Hard means head up display. Like uh, like we see we see in the games like uh, the health bar, mm. the score. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the chippy sound. Yeah. yeah, like also the menu menus. Mm. Everything is menu here, sir. Head up display. What about the health bar? Pretty yeah, same here. That is. Here. This is sir. Okay, I'm showing you. Sorry, I'm showing you. So let's come back to the demonstration directly. So he's sir, playing yeah. it now. This okay. is sir. And for now, <laughs> so now one more thing you can also see. Hmm. Slightly you move the cursor to the upper. This upper. this uh, red heart. Yeah, I think that is the health. Yeah, yeah. This is the bar. Like, ah. uh, How much? Yeah. Length. Yeah. Okay. So you can also see our. We have done one mainly our the 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 night 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 We have set it to uh, like 30 speed mm -hmm. for um, for testing purposes only. Mm -hmm. Later we will set it to lower. Yes, the sun is now going again down. Mm -hmm. Now that is nice. 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 Nice.
the moment I release this stop. Like yeah. same for the jump. I jump, then release, jump, came back to the jump. Last one is your skeleton. <laughs> it's skeleton. Yeah. yeah. Just like a human skeleton. Okay. So it is basically for the purposes like uh, to, uh, to, uh, to add props, like adding a gun to our hand mm -hmm. or adding uh, many other items like hats or a cape if you are making a super hero game like stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. As you can see here, this. Okay. Uh, uh, we have set one AK-47 for the um, testing purposes. Yes. So that uh, the moment we took the gun, like mm -hmm. it will come here directly in our palm. Okay. You hand like this. Grabs it. Yeah, it grabs it. Okay. It's for that purposes. It's for that purposes only. So this part is actually given information about this part, right? Yes, sir. That's the skeleton part. So like, uh, it is, uh, if anything is missing, every, like uh, one little part, it will even uh, affect the animations. Like uh, if we are missing the leg, leg part, right. then uh, if you walk, it will go like sound <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay. So this is for it now. Uh, the actually the animation uh, part. Um, so can you show it now? The shooting part. Shooting part. Can you show the shooting part? Just the moment. They will show you the shooting part. Do you know? Okay. So. Okay, sir. So you can see now he is going to shoot. Okay, sir. Uh, like you see, sir, this is the hand I told you about. See, the moment I came near the gun, sir, it the is moment, so yeah, it is saying we can put this okay. So if I press uh, F, it will come to work. Right. So if you press E, that we can bind it. Uh, as I told earlier, it keep bindings. See, before you keep and I'm equip for both. You can see more here. Press under. If you uh, press Q, it will switch the gun. Like that. So what are the how many different options you are putting here? So uh, uh, now just uh, pick up, uh, switch, uh, and equip. No, how many different guns? Guns for now three guns. Three guns. Three guns. So one more interesting thing is that as we can show. Yeah. So we'll, as our game is the dark admiral, for this the dark only in night version the zombies will be there. We have also added our zombies. Yeah. So see, so see in the play mode, is they want to implement something from the dark. Yes. So that's the zombie part, right? As you can see, if I came near, he will start chasing. They're zombies. I hope you all know about that, right? What is zombie? If I even shoot one guy okay. like that, he will come and attack us. Whenever like the zombies this. will hit us, you can see the health is also going. See, sir, the, the health is going. Okay. Now I start running and pick up the health kit. I took the helmet. If I press H, as you can see, notice the helmet, it increases. Okay. Suppose he attack, what would happen? We'll die. Let's we'll see. Health is decreasing, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Can we die? So I hope uh, everything they have explained well enough so that you can get it and also they are trying to implement something more in this game. That will be, you can say that is their own version of this game and after this project also they will continue working on that. So, so any query about this game you want to know, know more or if you are from Kazirova University or some any other university also, you may contact Gautam. Dun and Zephyr. Okay, their information will be given back to you. So we from Kajirova University actually uh, doing this thing for our major project, but also professionally you can go for building it because they are doing this same for it. And then also one research paper has been published. So this we can now say that is a copyright version of game under their names. So hope to see more for this game. Thank you. That's a nice presentation. Thank you, project members of it. Thank you. Good work.